When you, th I mean, obviously you have a few years of experience already during your career, you uh, worked as an entrepreneur, um, you built the Frankfurt School Blockchain Center. Now, um, throughout that path, that journey, what do you think are um, certain decisions that you made on the way, on the go, that got to where you are right now? So what do you think, uh, or maybe what did you regret uh, not doing or doing uh, that got you here? Yeah, yeah, an interesting question. So, you know, first of all, the, the, the Frankfurt School Blockchain Center is 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 not a true entrepreneurial um, uh, occupation. It's it's just an, an institute or a department with it within the university, right? But still, we had to invent uh, new types of education to educate blockchain. That's, for example, called Web3 Talents. Or we're also running a conference, um, which is quite interestingly done from an from a conference perspective, so it involves some entrepreneurship aspects. Otherwise, we, we we wouldn't have been able to build a blockchain center, but still it's a department at the university. But prior to this, indeed, I have founded uh, two, three companies before I came to the university. And um, what are key learnings here? I think, I think maybe two, three points. I think you cannot underestimate how important it is to do outreach. Outreach uh, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, in real life, going to conferences, meeting people, meeting them for a beer, meeting them for a coffee, meeting them for lunch, uh, outreach, outreach, outreach in all kinds of direction, right? Um, yes, you have to care about your time. Um, some of the stuff costs a lot of time, but without outreach, you cannot build a network and a network is so important for, uh, for your future career in a specific field. And the network is being built by outreach, by contacting people and so on and so forth. And with this, this is directly related to proactiveness in case you want to get something done, then you want to have it done, right? So it's my task to then make it happen. I write this email. I'm not waiting for anybody to do things. I'm I'm taking the initiative. Um, that's the proactiveness, which is in my mind urgently required because in case I'm not proactive, I would just sit there and wait until things happen. And then I could wait forever, right? So proactiveness is important. Um, and also a little bit of personal branding is important. Social media like LinkedIn gives to all of us in the hands very interesting uh, instruments uh, where, um, where you can now communicate to people out there. And in case you do this nicely, constantly with good content, um, then uh, people will recognize it at some point of time. And this will then also create like a virtual network in, in LinkedIn and some people knowing you. And in case people would leave their employer going somewhere else, then this is the network being like a physical network or being it like an electronic network on LinkedIn. You can take such a network with you for the next 20 years when you move to other employers and so on. And this has always been like this. And uh, for this, for example, I would also criticize law firms because law firms are very often encouraging their, um, their young lawyers to not be on social media such that they... Uh, such that they uh, would also, also not be able to create an own network, right? And this would then um, at, at some point of time adversely affecting their careers because you have to have a network at some point of time. The other career path is being a technician and being an expert in technology. I think then you don't have to emphasize outreach that much. But uh, without being an expert in a specific IT domain, Python, whatever, um, I think outreach is something which cannot be underestimated. And therefore, I'm happy that I discovered uh, this, the importance of outreach at some point of time. And I am also this happy that I discovered LinkedIn and using it, it frequently. And um, therefore, this, this is something I think I would do again. Um, um, like this proactiveness is something you have to learn over time. I, um, I don't regret it in any way, but it would have been nicer to, to have learned this proactiveness couple of years earlier um, but this is something uh, which which you which you can't change anyway but it's important to learn all these things as early as possible right what else can I say here um yeah as a of doing communication right trying to trying to assess what is the perspective of the other person receiving uh, the email you know is he then able to do the task or not communication delegation strict management, structuring of tasks, as you have said, Max, right? Outreach, proactiveness, I think this is all very, very important. And this is something where I think I would do it again uh, in, the, in, the same, in the same way.